guys come by the name of Kikanza Shepherd alongside Sima Vincent Costia we have come here to carry out an experiment about preparation of sodium chloride whereby we shall use the above solutions and the apparatus whereby I will introduce them by their names we have the basin burner the fire goose which is used to spread the fire for heating we have the triple stand tube which we shall use to raise up and we put on the water the protein dish we have the filter papers whereby we shall over there the solution after heating then we see those crystals we have the filter panel which will be used for filter we shall use also the beaker it will be used to cool the solution. We shall use the conical flask. We shall use the three solutions. One known as sodium hydroxide, and another one dilute hydrochloric acid. We shall use the spatula to remove those crystals on the sides of the, of the evaporating dish. We shall use the evaporating dish for heating. We shall also use the pipettes, which are three number, also to measure the liquid. Okay, the solution. We shall also use the test tube, whereby we shall put the solution when we are cooling the beaker, which will contain the cold water. We shall also have the burette which we shall put in the hydrochloric acid during the measurements we have the white tie used to show okay we all of us know that the white surfaces the white surfaces we okay, put away light we have the test tube rack Involving the dropper and the test tube, which is having also the solution known as Mathai Orange, which will be used to show if there is acid and base in the solution which are going to make. I'll first assemble the apparatus according to the first the director and I put it on the lamp stand so that. The solution is going to go on well. Go. We shall now repeat the, the another steps without adding the indicator, which is the metal orange. So, as you see, the burette has already been filled again. Yeah. Pause. Go. 
he will measure the sodium hydroxide in the pipette as shown. This is our last titration in the experiment and we shall add that a 3.4 as we saw in the first and second steps. We are sure that at a 3.4 cubic centimeters of the, uh, the acid is enough for the for the base in the in the conical flask. We have we have already added that 3.4 of the acid in the sodium hydroxide so that they can be of the same all of the same equal range. So our solution is colorless because we do not have the indicator. So we shall transfer our titration solution into the protein dishes so that they can be heated. We shall now put the titrated solution in the evaporating dish on the source of heat. We are heating the titrated solution so that the volume of the, 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 water, the volume of the titrated solution to reduce to half. So add it hydrochloric acid to the grate and add it. So we added it to sodium hydroxide in the direct in the conical flask to form sodium chloride and water. So this is the chemical equation of the experiment. So eating this solution so that we can make salt so, so that we can evaporate the water and remain with the, the so as you can see that the solution is a half of the of the evaporating dish and you can see the crystals on the whole on the whole of the evaporating dish. This means that the crystals are being made and the water is being evaporated out. So uh, evaporate this one to dryness as the first method, whereby we shall now evaporate the other one to halfway of the solution. We shall leave this evaporating dish to cool because we want to avoid the bands. As now we have seen the evaporating dish has cooled, we shall now remove the crystals using the clean spatula and not when he's doing it from a evaporating dish we shall put them on the filter paper so these are crystals of sodium chloride known as common salt that we normally use in our homes uh, this is the common salt that we use in our homes for dining or adding to food. We shall apply now the second method to dry it. We are operating to halfway the solution.
of the test tube. After that, we shall we shall filter using these filter papers so that so, so that the crystals can remain as the filter paper and and the the up the remaining water can go down and remain the remain with crystals of sodium chloride after heating we shall transfer the heated solution in the test tube and we, we put it in the beaker containing cold water so that it can be cooled and we get the crystals so this is a beaker containing water then i will put in the test tube so that it can be cooled for 10 minutes and we shall use the stop clock to time for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes the crystals you can see have been formed at the bottom of the test tube so we shall we shall try to filter the crystals by pouring the water on the filter paper so you can see that the crystals are have remained in the test tube so there are two methods that can be used to get the crystals from from sodium chloride from sorry from sodium hydroxide and the acid you can heat you can heat the mm -hmm. heat solution so that the crystals half, can remain all in the holes of the of the evaporating dish so this is this was the aim of the of our experiment so the the product that we got from the so from the experiment was the crystals of sodium chloride so I remain as Kusima Vicent Kosia alongside Thank you for watching.